welcome back to groups. We are in our sixth week, if you can believe it. It's not your sixth time meeting, but we are rapidly moving through our semester. Man, we're having a great time in groups. I hope you're having a great time tonight. I have been enjoying being in my group, so if my group is watching, love you guys. How's it going? I hope you love your group. Today, we are talking about continuing in our focused, focused intentional training. As we begin, let's do a little icebreaker. How's it going? Are you offering the Lord your very best? Are you progressing? Are you getting better? Are you getting swole in your focused, intentional training? Here's the question for you. Last week, we talked about simplification, okay? We talked about seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. We talked about a little acrostic, S-E-E-K, of which I was told I spelled the second word wrong. You know me, not a great speller. First one is stop. Have you stopped anything this week? Have you stopped your crazy life pace? Have you cleaned out and simplified your life? The second one was, this was a spelling error, excavate. Are you dredging up the things in your life that maybe you need to attend to? The second E was employ. Are we doing the things as Christians from God's word? Are we activating them in our life? Are we doing the things we need to do? And the K was, now that we know all these things, the K is no. Are we really believing him? Are we seeking first the kingdom in our life? Talk around the circle as we begin tonight. How's it going in your FIT? Are you really growing as a fully developed follower of Christ? Share some of those things. Today we talked about Luke chapter 5, verse 16. Let's stop right here. Open your phone, open your Bible. Let's read God's word. Someone crack open the scripture. It's one verse. Read God's word. Luke 5, verse 16. Now that it's fresh on our mind, we just heard, but Jesus himself would often slip away into the wilderness and pray. Today, we talked about solitude. We talked about the difference between isolation and solitude. Wanted to read you something quickly. It says, isolation is getting away from things maybe people, to be alone. Solitude is drawing near to God, to be together. Here's the question. Where in your life have you fallen into the trap of isolation? Maybe you've removed yourself, you've gone away. There are certain reasons why people do this. This morning we talked about why are we isolating? Maybe we're overwhelmed in our life. Maybe we have things that are discouraging us. That's the number one problem for men. The enemy loves to discourage us. Uh, maybe we don't have any margin in our life. From what are you isolating yourself? This is something that we talk about all the time. Do we need to get away from reality? Do we need to be in a different type of circumstance? And obviously we talked about the result of our isolation a lot of times is sin. It also neglects our partner and sets up a life pattern that oftentimes our children begin to emulate. Our spouse has permission, will you do those things? Now I can do those things. Again, here's the question. Where in your life have you fallen into the trap of isolation? Talk about those things. This is the part of our group where we do the pastor challenge. We've been talking about Isaiah 41.10, memorizing this verse. We're doing a great job with that. I hope that you wrote it down every day last week and, uh, and we're continuing to work on those things. As we talk about solitude today, here's the challenge. Keep a record this week of how much specific time that you are in solitude with Christ Jesus. Write it down on your phone, keep a log. At the end of the week, this is a great opportunity to share with your spouse, hey, check it out. I spent five hours uninterrupted with God this week. I spent two hours uninterrupted with God this week. This is also a wonderful time for accountability, but also to say, hey, listen, I did my very best. I could only get an hour and 15 minutes. I need some margin in my life. I need you to help me find a place where I can have solitude. Work with each other. It's a blessing, especially if you are married to an introvert person. I guarantee you they are starving to be with the Lord, to be able to be refueled, to come back. So here's the challenge. Spend time logging meticulously how much time you're spending in solitude just with the Lord.
This is our takeaway portion. Talk around the circle a little bit about what are some things that you took away from our sermon today. Maybe I thought about that before, but it didn't never sound that way, or man, I've never thought about these things. Share some of those things with each other. That way we can all continue to grow together. What was your takeaway from the sermon this morning? This is our time of prayer. I hope that you are enjoying getting to have a scribe or a secretary or someone that's putting it in your group me or group text and check in with each other. You know, part of praying, praying, praying with each other is yes in the moment, but also throughout these couple of weeks in between. It's important to continue to lift each other to the Lord, check in with each other. That blesses people to say, hey, I was thinking about you and this thing that we discussed. How's it going? That's a great ministry that you can do personally. Share around the group some prayer requests and then pray with each other. Thank you so much for joining us in groups tonight. Hope you have a wonderful week. God bless you.